Hello guys, welcome back to a Boom Beach video. Today, we're gonna be trying something a little new. What if Boom Beach had no abilities? What would Boom Beach look like? Now, there was never a time in Boom Beach's career or Boom Beach lifetime that there was no abilities. Even when they just dropped the game, they had a few abilities. It's what makes up Boom Beach. But today, we're going to be testing it to see what if there are no abilities. So basically, I have to try to beat players using no abilities. So I can't drop flares. I can't drop shocks. I can't drop artillery. I can't drop barrages. This looks like a solid base. We just have to let our troops go by their own path finding and I'm not even gonna use hero abilities guys I'm only going to j I'm just dropping my troops and seeing how they walk it's gonna be a lot of fun guys seeing what it's like using no abilities I have no clue what to expect now when you first start boom beach you only have one ability which is the artillery and it's not until a little bit later that you get flare Am I right on that? I haven't been, like, starting Boom Beach, like, Boom Beach Basics for a very long time. This was a disaster. Okay. Um, one base, it, it's a little too strong, so we're gonna have to tone it down a bit and go <laughs> with an easier base. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got destroyed. Okay, let's start out with an NPC base. Just drop our troops let's just be at an npc base and see how that works now technically our hero is not a troop but she's not uh, she's not um a, an ability uh she's just a troop that doesn't die an invincible troop so i might even swap her out for ever spark or dr kavan someone that is going to help us their passive ability will help us. Um, holy crap. I might not even beat... See, Boom Beach was not designed for this, guys. I'm not, I am not. might not even defeat a basic NPC base. I do have a lot of gold, and I my uh, Zuka tribe is boosted up. Or, I guess, my offensive... One of my offensive tribes is boosted up to get Zuka damage. So... I could boost up heavy HP if I wanted to, but I'm not sure I'll be able to get that many raw crystals back uh, before the season ends. I don't want to waste stuff. Um, okay, first of all, let's switch out. Let's grab Dr. Kavan. We don't care about which ability he has because we only care about his passive ability. And this one is going to be hard. Our troops are going to split like crazy we're gonna be a little strategic here and drop our troops over here what the heck there's literally heaviest closer why are you targeting my zookas okay hopefully uh damage reduction is gonna help us a little dr kavans what are these heavies doing this could be very bad this could get very bad very fast um, I could use Scorchers and Tanks, but I have a feeling I'm going to lose a lot of Tanks and Scorchers, and they cost a lot more to retrain, so I'm just going to not use Scorchers or Tanks for today's video. I'm just going to stay using Hookah. We're going to see how Hookah works. Um, definitely damage reduction, healing up our heavies was a very good, a ver it is a very good strategy. I'm not going to get Everspark. Dr. Kavan is owning it. Here we go. Shock. Shock and awe goes down. <laughs> Not shock. Shock. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's, uh, I don't even know if I can complete a legit player base. Um, here we go. Oops. Here we go. This is an NPC base that is custom, and I've never seen it before, so we're gonna, we're gonna try and see how it goes. There's a bunch of splash damage on the beach um which kind of sucks we need our heavies to get out in front okay and i kind of split up my troops so half my troops will go to the left half my troops will go to the right and okay a few would go to the middle 
Um, because I, I need those shock launchers to be taken out on the sides. The problem is I should have dropped a boat of heavies in the middle so my Zookas all wouldn't die, but it's okay. As long as we have a couple heavies and a clump and five Zookas will be fine because the Zookas have an insane amount of damage. Um, the shock launcher needs to go down. Come on. Oh my gosh. Come on, Zookas. Oh, ho, ho, ho. If that shock launcher would have targeted these three Zookas, I would have probably lost the battle. It would have been very, very close. We will get it now. Uh, troops are out of range, and there we go. 197 energy, guys. That's how we do it. Um, just completely ignoring the fact that I'm spending uh, like a third of a million gold on troop retrains. Okay, we're gonna do one more NPC base, and then we are going to try a player base again and see if we can defeat a legit player base using no gumboat energy guys this is crazy this is such a dumb <laughs> this was such a bad idea guys but i hope you guys do enjoy my failures um the see the biggest problem we have rocket launchers shock launchers and mines and that's what is killing me because the heaviest will go inside the dead zone of Rocket launchers and the rocket launchers will kill my Zookas. Rocket launchers will miss target and hit my Zookas like that one did a little while ago. Shock launchers will sometimes hit my Zookas and they'll all die and I can't heal them up. I'm kind of trusting Dr. Kavan to help me here. Because he's 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 what's saving me. Okay, we gotta find a somewhat easy a somewhat easy base. A uh, base that doesn't have too many prototypes and HQ maybe on the edge. A base that has the HQ closer to the beach, not far back. Because I'm just going to try to take the HQ, the headquarters, before my troops die. And that is my main goal. And I only have enough gold for like two more attacks. This is a very unique base. Let's put it off to the side. Let's see if... There is an easy, maybe a level 58 somewhere in here that has under level defenses. I'm, I'm, hmm, ooh, that's tempting. There's a laser beam, which could hurt. I'm very, guys, I'm very surprised there's not a lower level player, like lower leveled players here. Because I'm under 700 medals, so, like, it sh we should be seeing a lower level. Okay, this is decent. It's not easy, but it's not it's not an awful base design. It's a very unique base design. So I'm going to take advantage of that. Spreading out our heavies. Let's drop our Zookas in the corner. And our, our hero, of course. I need these mines or some of the mines to go. The heavies, yes, took down all the mines. We're going to watch our heavies go. Guys, I would say... There's a very, very, very low chance that we will be able to defeat this base. Like, incredibly low. Player bases using no gumbo energy is insane. It's such... A f it's going to be so... It's going to be so bad. Watch what happens here. My heavies are going to walk inside the dead zone, and the rocket launcher is going to kill all of my Zookas, so my Zookas will all die. And that's how we will... That's how we will lose the battle. It's because our stupid heavies go inside the, the blind spot and we lose all of our firepower. Okay, whatever. I'm done. No more abilities. <laughs> no more not using abilities, guys. Come on. Dang it. Uh, artillery, artillery. Oh my gosh. Freak. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Critters. Oh, all counting on you. Go. Go. No. No! Uh, I dropped way too many barrages. I dropped one too many barrages. Oh well. Well, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Not gonna try this again. Let me know if there's something you want me to go without next for Boom Beach. So, maybe I could do no troops.
only gumbo to energy in here, bro. Uh, but let me know down below, and I will try. Maybe I could do, like, warriors using no smoke. That would be interesting. Um, but thanks for watching the video. If you did like it, make sure you drop a like, as always. I'll talk to you in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.